Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for June 19th, 20th, and 21st, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from my Leos. Hello, my Leos. Well, you know, I use two Radley Valentine decks for the weekend. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I just try to pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Um, lots and lots of energy this week, uh, weekend. I'm, you know, I have talked about that on the longer readings, the Leo and Cancer season, so I would say suggest that you take a peek at that, at least in the beginning. Uh, okay, I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is for someone out there that needed to hear it, it gets delivered. Uh, three cards are face down. The middle one is reversed. I read reversed cards as stronger energy. So let's see what we have for the weekend for my Leos. Before I start, though, my Leos, have some confidence in yourself. Have some faith in yourself. You are remarkable, and so many, so many times you don't, well, you, you know, so many times um, we, we don't see that part of ourselves, okay? You have so many gifts, so many talents, and, you know, you, you need to, I, I want you to, you know, enter this weekend and enter cancer season um, feeling more secure, more confident, having more faith in yourself. Okay, so let's go on. Okay, like I said, three cards face down, middle is reversed. First card for the weekend for my Leos. Here we go. The four of fire. Fire is your energy. It is also Sagittarius. It's also Aries energy. Passionate, burning, determined, feeling good, feeling at home, feeling, you know, content, feeling, you know, like your you know, like your world is in a good place. Okay. So this is a positive, this is soothing, this is you getting ready also. Because part of this is, this is like the, um, you know, I'm, I, 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 the storm I don't feel is going to be horrible or anything like that when I say this. This is you, be, this is the calm before the storm, okay? But the storm is, you know, because cancer season is where you wrap up a lot of stuff and, you know, you get things ready for when your season starts. So this starts off. This is where you need to kind of take a peek at everything and see what you need to put into place. Because your season, when it comes about, now this is, again, this is towards, you know, this is more in, um, you know, in July. You know, things will start moving faster for you. Okay, so this is that part where you need to get, I don't know if you, if you need to get your studies done, if you need to get prepared, if you need to take some time, a sabbatical, this is this time for you to concentrate on development, personal development, getting yourself ready so that when you're re so when your season comes, you know, again, it goes with the confidence. So you need to make sure you learn, you get whatever it is you feel you are missing, which you're really not, but get the credentials, get the things like that. Okay? Okay. Contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. Next card. This one's the reversed one. Here we go. The moon. Okay. The moon. Archangel Heniel. Now, a lot of things about this. You know, this is psychic um, ability. There is, a, you know, there's a lot of things going on with the moon. There is a new moon, um, you know, on the 21st in Cancer. You know, so, you know, and there's all, there's these eclipses going on too, lunar eclipses. So all of this energy is really, really strong. Now the moon, remember, full moon to new moon, as it's getting smaller, it's waning. So get rid of things, get rid of the baggage, what's ever holding you back. New moon to full moon, it's getting bigger. Request, okay? So use this energy. Use this energy that's going on to help Get rid of, you know, again, I go back to that confidence thing. Get rid of that and get, you know, work. Okay, are we always going to, you know, we will always have some insecurities. You know, we look at ourselves in the mirror and our body type isn't quite where we want or our hair or, you know, or maybe we don't think we know enough things. There's always going to be a little bit, but, you know, get try to get rid of some of those things that really 
don't have have a concrete basis okay and when this new moon comes about ask for the things you will be needing okay archangel energy here so archangel heniel important psychic insights events behind the scenes remember there's all those phases to the moon but we only see one side of it we don't see the back side of the moon the dark side of the moon things are going on that we're not aware of release fears that hold you back so this weekend is about you kind of coming to grips with some of those fears some of those you might actually be getting ready you know because you might be getting ready to be called out to do something a little bit more radical and i don't mean radical like as in the world is happening today but outside of your comfort zone you're you know so you know things that maybe you you thought you know, maybe you have prepared for but you didn't follow through be ready, you know, be aware, be aware that you may, you know, some of those things that you've prepared for in that past may be, call, may be being called to go forward for that future. Okay, anyway, let's go. Last card up is the Ace of Water. Water is Cancer energy. It's also Scorpio. It's also Pisces. It's fluid. It's emotional. And this is new this is something that's kind of, you know, aces are new starts, new beginnings. Aces are the ones, new starts, new beginnings, um, moving you forward. You might be a little bit afraid. It might scare the bejeebies out of you, okay? And I don't, you know, what the bejeebies are, but it's an old saying. Instead of saying something, you know, saying a bad word, I'd say to the children, you know, it could scare the bejeebies out of you. But it's, again, I feel like you're being called up, you know, and you need to, you need to, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever that ah is. <laughs> okay, so falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. Now, I feel that new home is more in, you know, remember you have, there's, you know, Uranus and Taurus. We talked about that a long, long time ago. And that's expect the unexpected. This is something that, um, that you know, you're you're getting your my Leo's. Yeah, get ready to be pulled out of your comfort zone, but it's what you need to do. Okay, let's go on. Last card. Here we go. Okay, this one is not not reversed, but it is face down. Here we go. The six of Ariel. Ariel is Earth energy. Okay, Earth energy is Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, something, someone you can touch. It's also money, money from an opportunity, money from, you know, a job, career. This is material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So what, what you know, this thing, whatever this is, so it's, it feels like it's going to be starting more so on the weekend for you. So you might be, you know, somebody might call you up and ask you to do something, um, you know, that's kind of a little, it's different than what you're used to doing, but you're prepared for it. And the thing is, you know, and you know, it might be even a different type of a job, um, a different type of a career. It's like, you know, I, I, I feel like things opening up. Uh, it's really kind of exciting, but it's really scary too. So, but it says material needs are fulfilled. Get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, you know. To me, that's higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine. Um, you know, it's like, okay, what you've been waiting for? My Leos, you know, for many of my Leos who have felt like they've been waiting for something, and this, this energy could be that energy that opens that door for you. Okay? Okay. <sighs> anyway, my Leos, I hope you've subscribed. I hope you've liked. I hope you've shared. But as always, my Leos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.